Welcome to Projectventive channel. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Caspar is an advanced humanoid robot and it has been making waves in the robotics industry. The robot was designed to interact with children on the autism spectrum. And it has been successful in helping children learn social and emotional skills. In this video, we'll take a look at what Caspar is, who developed it, and how it can be used. What is Caspar? Caspar is a humanoid robot. It was designed to be used in research and education related to social robotics. Caspar stands at 80 centimeters tall and has a humanoid body structure with seven motors driving the head, arms and waist. It has an onboard processor that allows for basic facial expressions, arm movements, and speech recognition. Caspar also has a microphone, a camera and a force sensing system for recognizing human gestures. Caspar has been used in a number of research projects involving language learning, autism therapy, and artificial intelligence. Who developed Caspar? Caspar is a humanoid robot developed by the University of Hertfordshire in the UK. The robot has been widely used for research purposes, and it is one of the most advanced social robots available. Caspar is a unique robot that is specifically designed for use in educational settings. It is able to interact with children, providing a naturalistic environment for learning. It is capable of engaging in conversations, responding to questions and commands, and demonstrating basic motor tasks. Caspar has been used in classrooms, museums and therapeutic settings. And its development team is continually working on improving its capabilities. Benefits of using Caspar. Firstly, it is capable of providing assistance with a wide range of tasks. This includes helping with daily tasks such as cooking and cleaning, as well as providing assistance in medical and educational settings. Secondly, Caspar is capable of providing assistance in a natural way. This is due to its sensors and actuators which allow it to interact with its environment in a more human-like manner. This means that Caspar can carry out tasks more efficiently and effectively than a traditional robot. Lastly, Caspar is designed to be safe and reliable. It is equipped with a variety of safety features which ensure that it does not cause any harm to humans or property. It also has a high level of reliability, meaning that it can be trusted to carry out tasks without any issues. Features of Caspar Number 1. Facial and Body Expressions Caspar has the ability to make a range of simplified facial and body expressions to help children understand emotions and communication cues. This includes using its eyebrows, mouth, and body posture to convey different emotions and responses. Number 2. Gestures and Speech. In addition to its expressive capabilities, Caspar also uses gestures and speech to interact with children. This can help children learn about appropriate nonverbal communication and improve their listening and speaking skills. Number 3. Touch Sensors. To further enhance its interactivity, Caspar has sensors placed on various parts of its body including its cheeks, arms, hands, feet, and body. These sensors allow Caspar to respond autonomously to touch and featuring a soft and cuddly exterior that is easy for them to interact. Number 4. Child-Friendly Design. Caspar has been specifically designed with children in mind, featuring a soft and cuddly exterior that is easy for them to interact with. This approachable design helps children feel comfortable and confident when engaging with Caspar and makes it an effective tool for building social skills. Number 5. Customizable. Caspar offers the ability to be customized to suit different educational and therapeutic needs. For instance, the expressions and gestures that it uses can be adapted to suit different cultures, languages, and educational goals. Making it a flexible tool that can be tailored to meet the specific needs of different children and learning environments. Number 6. Evidence-based. The features and design of Caspar are based on evidence-based practices in the fields of child development, therapy, and education. This means that the use of Caspar is backed by research and has been shown to be effective in improving children's social skills. Number 7. Multidisciplinary. Caspar can be utilized by professionals from various disciplines, including educators, therapists, and researchers, to support children's social and emotional development. This makes it a valuable resource for professionals working in different fields. Who can collaborate to help children learn and practice skills? Number 8. Collaborative Learning. Caspar can also be used as a tool for collaborative learning, where children can work with a teacher, therapist, or caregiver to learn and practice social skills. This helps children to engage in social interactions that are more representative of real-life situations and 
provides an opportunity for them to learn from each other. Number 9. Accessible. Caspar has been designed with accessibility in mind, featuring simple and intuitive interfaces and controls that are easy for children of all abilities to use, including those with special needs. This makes it a resource that is accessible to children regardless of their abilities, and helps ensure that all children have the opportunity to learn and practice social skills. Integration of Caspar with various technologies such as virtual reality, robotics, and I. The integration of Caspar with virtual reality, VR, technology provides a highly engaging and interactive environment for children with developmental disorders to practice and improve their communication. By wearing a VR headset, children can be transported to a virtual world where they can interact with virtual characters and objects, practice social interactions in a controlled environment, and receive real-time feedback from therapists and educators. For example, a child with autism can practice making eye contact, initiating conversations, and understanding nonverbal cues in a virtual environment before applying those skills in real-life situations. Caspar's integration with robotics technology can also help children with developmental disorders to learn about cause and effect relationships, develop their fine motor skills, and understand basic concepts such as shape, size, and color. For instance, Caspar can be programmed to interact with other robotic devices, such as toy cars or balls, allowing children to control their movements and observe the effects of their actions. This type of interactive experience can be particularly beneficial for children with autism as it can help them understand the connection between their actions and the consequences. Artificial intelligence, AI, is another key technology that can be integrated with Caspar. AI algorithms can be used to analyze data and provide insights into the child's development and progress, enabling therapists and educators to tailor the therapy or education program to the individual needs of the child. For example, AI can be used to monitor the child's engagement and attention and automatically adjust the difficulty level of the tasks to keep the child challenged but also motivated. This level of customization and personalization can greatly improve the effectiveness of therapy and education programs for children with developmental disorders. If you're still watching, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Uses of Caspar Caspar has many features that are beneficial for children with autism such as its ability to make facial expressions perform basic movements, and respond to touch. Additionally, it can also be programmed to do more advanced behaviors like greet people or demonstrate actions such as dancing. Caspar is being used in various settings for therapeutic and educational purposes. In the home environment, Caspar can help children learn how to interact with others and build relationships. In schools, it can be used as a tool to teach children with autism in a fun and engaging way. Caspar has also been used in medical studies to better understand autism and develop new therapies. It is hoped that in the near future, Caspar will be able to have more advanced interactions with humans. Additionally, researchers are looking into using Caspar to assist people with disabilities, such as those with hearing or visual impairments, or those with neurological disorders. Caspar's design features. Caspar is designed to be lightweight and mobile. It is equipped with a range of wheels and tracks which allow it to move around its environment. It is also equipped with a range of sensors which allow it to detect objects and people in its environment and interact with them in a safe and natural way. It has a sleek and modern design which makes it look more like a human than a traditional robot. This makes it easier for humans to interact with and trust the robot. Caspar's impact on robotics. Caspar has had a significant impact on the field of robotics. This has opened up the possibility of robots being used in a variety of settings, from healthcare to education. Caspar has also shown that robots can be designed to be safe and reliable. This is due to its range of safety features and its ability to learn from its interactions. This has made it easier for robots to be used in a variety of settings without any risk of harm. How Caspar works. Caspar is powered by a variety of sensors and cameras which allow it to detect objects and people in its environment. It is also equipped with a variety of actuators which allow it to interact with its environment in a more human-like manner. Caspar is also equipped with a range of software which allows it to understand and interpret its environment. This software is based on artificial intelligence, AI, and machine learning algorithms which allow Caspar to learn from its interactions. Caspar is also equipped with a range of safety features which ensure that it does not cause any harm to humans or property. This includes sensors which detect when someone is too close to the robot. 
and a range of safety protocols which ensure that the robot does not act in an unsafe manner. Future of Caspar The potential applications of Caspar are limitless and its development is ongoing. The research team at the University of Hertfordshire is continually exploring new ways to use the robot's capabilities. Allowing them to explore and interact with their learning environment from anywhere in the world. Including the possibility of its use in hospitals, schools and care homes. It could provide physical therapy for children with special needs, or act as a companion for elderly people. Caspar's future also includes being used for virtual learning and education. In the future, students could interact with the robot using augmented reality. Allowing them to explore and interact with their learning environment from anywhere in the world. The University of Hertfordshire is also working on improving the robot's facial recognition technology, which could enable it to interpret facial expressions and better understand human emotions. This technology could be used to help people with autism or other communication difficulties. In the long term, the goal is to create a robot that is able to truly interact with humans and be a part of our everyday lives. This could mean that Caspar would become an assistant or even a companion to us all. Overall, the future of Caspar is bright and it's exciting to see what possibilities await it in the years ahead. I hope you liked my video, if you do then, please like, share and subscribe to the channel.